any really good team, they're complete opposites. It's not easy finding a duo that really meshes. A lot of duos rotated out inside of the pro community. People always think they're better than the other person. We had opposite play styles and opposite personality traits. I really thought like there was a good opportunity for us to kind of balance each other out play styles wise. You know, opposites attract, but that's, I mean, it's not a relationship. <laughs> I was looking for someone to play with for TwitchCon. I hit up a lot of my friends. Everyone was like overwhelmingly like, yeah, Cease is nuts. They're like, he's one of the best players. I uh, hit him up, I was like, hey, do you want to play? I think we could be a good mixture. And it just kind of spread from there. Elevate's play style it was extremely passive when I first met him. I am very strategic. I focus on rotates. I can win games more than like get 20 kills. Cease, like when I watched his VODs, it was pretty much like the exact opposite of that. I was an extremely aggressive player, a little too aggressive probably. He wasn't winning games, but he had a shit ton of kills, dragging people out. Got a knock? Nice. We meshed very well. I kind of helped him get more aggressive. He'd get me a little bit more passive and start thinking a bit more. I used to be a little like passive bitch, and now I'm like out here fragging sometimes. Most of my kills just come off his aggression. I see someone being a psychopath and they'll try to run away, so I'll go behind him and just shoot him in the back. In the qualifiers, we kicked some ass and we got like third place. It was definitely a reliever to know that like we could perform at the top level. Those things made us a really good team at the start. We played so much that we were getting like tons of kills. We were like kind of destroying other pro players at the time. And so it was perfect time for us to really pop off and kind of really show people that we could be at the top. Oh God. <laughs> A lot of times people toss up partners after each event, but I think that what made us stronger is our chemistry. A lot of our friends told us stay together, stay at it, and we did, and it paid off. It's Cease and Elevator! The tournament we won was called WSOE 3. Being able to go to a tournament and show, hey, we're a top duo, you gotta respect us. It was a huge step. I think that definitely changed the mindset from the public on us. I felt like I had made my family proud. All my friends were like, you put West Lafayette on the map. I showed them this was my dream, I made it happen. It was more than just gaming. It changed my mindset and my life. The day we went through agents, we immediately got a call from Mud Dog, who is the manager at 100 Thieves. He was immediately like, hey, I'm super interested. Like, I want to sign you by the end of the week. They just came out swinging, and it was just like an example. Like, they get shit done. I had heard a lot of good things about Cease and Elevate going into the recruitment process and had my eyes on them. The most appealing thing was that they won the WSOE LAN in Long Beach. So seeing that they were able to win on the biggest stage possible, it made it the pick up a no-brainer overall. How'd you do? How'd you do, Blake? Is that 70? 70? So originally we only had three players that were going to be in the house. It was going to be Cease, Elevate, and Blind. Now a few weeks in, Kazooie decided he wanted to move out to the East Coast, and after Kenneth finishes high school going to week seven, he's going to move out there. To accommodate for those five players, we needed to have better internet, so we found a new house with multiple lines of fiber internet to give them, the again, the best possible chance to qualify. We want to do whatever we can to support our players. Go, go, go. Go, go. 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 Come on, man. We need 20 With the World Cup being announced, it's the biggest prize pool in esports history, so it's setting records alone. It's an open qualifier showing the best of the best. It's Fortnite really saying, like, step up to the plate. Here you go. Anyone can qualify. Saturday is a very easy, calm day. It's honestly a good prep for Sunday. Sunday is just like playing in a real tournament. It's very competitive and you have to be on your game all day. When you qualify for the World Cup, you get a guaranteed 50,000. Getting 50K for just going there is crazy. 
now that we're into the World Cup and we're a couple weeks in, it's a lot harder and a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. Each Sunday, you have 10 games to play and you don't really have enough time to get 10 games in. You have a three hour time limit. You can play about eight games if you play them all out and that'll put you in the qualifying position. One guy, it's one guy, he's a P90. Zip line, zip line, zip line, jump on zip line. In a tournament environment, I think that me and Elevate kind of like both come out of our skins. This is usually more calm. It's really nice like when we're in a tournament and I'm watching him play, it seems like he's just at home like eating barbecue chips. It just like changed my outlook on competitive gaming and it really allowed me to feel like I'm at home when I'm at big tournaments. I got it off, I died. Quick replacement again. Nice, good shit. You can keep those poppers, like just get in and base up. You're fine, dude. Quick replacement, You have to layer yourself in a ton of mats. Above you, above you. Elevate is a lot more like outgoing and he just tries to keep the mood up and so in a tournament setting that helps a lot. I was more confident than anything. I think that me and Elevate had worked out a good strategy. Let's not get lollygagging and stay focused, okay? Ceases the glider just gets auto deployed. They basically got me killed. When those bugs popped up, I just knew our tournament was gonna end right there. We were literally one point off. That was pretty annoying. It being so close, it's sad. With this job, you kind of have to have a mindset, especially in Fortnite, you gotta brush that off. It's bad to like reflect on like, if I got this kill, I would have qualified. Every week, you're gonna be one point off. I'm using it as a confidence booster and trying not to focus on the negatives. With these last few duo weeks coming up, I think the main elevate are gonna qualify. Job hugging the storm line. He's now working top to bottom. He talked about the advantage from the high ground. They've been practically number one all weekend long. Let's see if they can continue to keep up this reign here as they're fighting for one of the three slots. How insane is Elevate? He can win a 1v2 against Young Chung and his duo member. Will Cease be able to hit another? He's got 5 HP as his fire only has 46. What? But it's Cease. He drops on down. He drops down. He got to get the elimination. He does. He takes out Young Chung. Cease and Elevate are going to New York. You guys are one of the most tight-knit duos that I've ever seen. You're both awesome. Congrats. Congrats, later. Congrats again.